I'm hoping you are doing well and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Ngina and in case you are new in this channel, we do talk about anything and everything. So feel welcome to feel that at the right place and at the right time. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you're waiting for. So hit that subscribe button. Hit, 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 hit. And guys, and today, as you can see, the, I'm not at my place. And I'm in a cafe and um, something good is about to get down. So, uh, karibuni sana to let's cook with Ngina segment. I'll be sharing a simple pilau recipe that you can try at home. So, sit down, relax and watch as we do this. Karibuni sana 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 sana. So, guys, um, today we are going to do pilau that's a recipe that uh, most of you have uh, requested me to do so but um uh, i was not able to do it at my place i have traveled and i'm um, somewhere so i have a friend of mine who has a cafe and uh, i requested that if i can um, uh, film or do the video at our cafe and she was like oh yeah you can do it so yeah karibuni sana 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 so let's go straight away to our ingredients and uh, today's our today's ingredients we have uh, six onions cloves of the onions uh, six and then we have a uh, wine garlic these are the cloves get me to anisha but it was one garlic then we have tomato, we have uh, ginger, there's tomato paste, this is um, 70 grams tomato paste. Then we have soy sauce and uh, on our dry ingredients we have uh, black pepper, black pepper seeds and then cardamom seeds and then cumin seeds. So there's something missing on uh, on on the dry ingredients that is um, cinnamon seeds known as karafu so yeah but it's not a must by the way but uh, if you're a beginner i would advise you you purchase the pilau wool the pilau wool comes with everything black pepper cardamom cinnamon seeds everything in one paper so that the, the cinnamon is missing but it's not a must and then we have a uh, three kg rice three kg rice as i told you we are it's in a cafe and then this is the meko that we'll be using to cook and this is the sufuria and then kwa sufuria to make mafuta so that's cooking oil hiyo ndio tutakuwa tuna tunatumia so let's go straight on and uh, start cooking so I'm going to start by chopping the onions into smaller slices same as uh, to garlic and ginger so guys we are chopping the garlic to small slices chopping the onions and the garlic we've already turned on our meko and uh, the oil is uh, eating so yeah so then after that we're also going to chop uh, our ginger to chop our onion into smaller 
cubes. So guys, uh, our onions is ready, garlic and ginger. So what we're going to put a uh, ginger and garlic on our already heated oil. Then next we're going to put salt. the mixture so basically we've uh, mixed uh, already heated oil with garlic ginger and salt cook the ginger and garlic till they turn to golden brown then after that you are going to put the onion the garlic and ginger has turned a golden brown so we are going to put our onions next we are going to stir our onion dozishikane vizuri na garlic na ginger na pia salt So guys our onions are ready and uh, we are going to put our meat and mind you guys I have not boiled the meat it's raw raw as you can see so to end up we wake up and then it will be yeah then after that we are going to stir nyama ishikane na these ingredients zingine. So, if you're cooking at home, eh, it's good uh, to boil your meat. Just boil your meat. Boil your meat to. Then after that, we're going to funika our sukoria. Give it uh, some minutes. Ndiyo yu nyama ibe kabisa. As we wait for the meat to cook, we're going to put our rice on it. Oh, rather, we are going to soak our rice. So we are going to put it on this bowl. We are just going to soak it on water. So yeah. So here we have this clean uh, shopping bag, rather carrier bag. Then we have a uh, black pepper seeds. So we are going to put the seeds in this bag. Because you don't have grinder, we? Okay, we tell my friend. I'm in a grinder too. Hey, hey, we? <laughs> so you just like use your eyes to measure. But if you, 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 it's your first time, I would like recommend to use the whole plow. That one won't disappoint you. And then just put the dog, depending now. The amount of love that you are cooking, yeah. So it's only cumin seeds. We also put a cardamom seeds. Then start start the grind too. <laughs> In quotes, hmm. Then you improvise, improvising. Tokyo, as you can see, in the grindika kiasi, and then for kanda monsi, eh, kisha grind zita paska paska so 
tuna zitoto tutatwa ndani hata mimi ndo tunakuanga kitamu not the whole thing hizo ndo zinakonga tamu so ndo maana zina huwa zinapasuliwa yeah like so So then after that, we are going to put the dry ingredients, the likes of cinnamon seeds, cardamom, and black pepper seeds. So yeah. So then we are going to stir. After that, to nafunikia sinaiva. So we are going to chop our tomato. Then we put on our mixture. For that we stir. Look at these guys. So this is the mixture. Kayote, 70 grams. After that, we stir. The chicken and water be good. So next, we're going to put a dark soy sauce, and to make a tuki dogo. To give the pilau a dark color, na pia kuna kuta mtu flani waka na kana kujia. So yeah, then we are going to stir. Luishka ni vizuri. Like so. Then tunafunika. Hey guys, after that we are going to put our pilau masala and I know I did not like show you. Sorry I forgot about it. Like in pilau si, si pilau kama kuna pilau masala. So, tunenda tu kweka pilau masala but not a lot. Because mkeka mingi indu inakuwa chachu or rather inakuwa kali. So like minimize the amount of our pilau masala. Na pia izi ni nizingine these spices in Guinea if you just put minimal so yeah then after that we're going to stir the shikane kabisa this juncture we are going to put uh, our water and that is a uh, two jugs of water and a jug here to in a equal let me try to zoom in and you call 1.5 liters so to make a mbili. So that is like three liters. Remember we are cooking uh, three kilos of uh, rice. So yeah, the ingredients that we put is uh, three kgs. So if you put if you're cooking a quarter kg, I'm at three quarter kg, just use minimal uh, ingredients. Tunafunikia And then Tunacha yo Imagine a boil Then after a boil We're going to put our rice So guys As you can see The water is uh, Boiled and uh, the mixture You may mix bizuri So we are going to put our 
rice. So, rice is clean. Then after that, you are going to stir. You mix vizuri. After that, tunafunikia. Then we let it cook. So guys, our rice has dried up. Then now we are going to koroga. And guys, when you 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 korog <laughs> you koroga ring your rice, uskoroge ka ugali. Anza kukoroga na sideways, like so. Usi koroge ka ugali. That's why we nashkana. Na pia kukoroga ni muimu, cause una tan yenye iko chini na kuja juu na yenye iko juu inaenda chini ndio inaiva so that the essence of uh, corrogating your rice and then ukisha koroga hivyo reduce your your heat kabisa ikwe kidogo kabisa kidogo kabisa ikwe kidogo kabisa ndio eat to pole pole alafu rice yako iwe so reduce your heat and then after that, tunafunga, if you have a foil paper, it's advisable you, you funika using a foil paper, then kwekelea lid ju. So guys, our pillow is ready. Let's open the lid and see. It's about to go back. Look at this. And then imetoka moja moja. So I forgot to tell you the rice that we've used. We've used the uh, original biryani, original biryani, and you can also use a uh, pishuri. Uh, Itatoka vi moja moja, but cheza vizuri na maji yako. But also the type of rice do matter a lot when it comes to pilau. Na kama unataka pilau yako itoke moja moja. So tunakoroga tu to make sure imeshkana vizuri mafuta haija moko chini so yeah and it's ready to be served guys it's ready to be served so guys uh, this is how the presentation look have um, prepared kachumbari yeah tomatoes plus onions it's a pilau plus kachumbari and I'm going to test since I'm the tester. <laughs> so, a sweet as Guys, it's yummy. It's yummy. Nasi chocha by the way. It's yummy. Your go. Try the recipe at home and comment down below. The ingredients, the spices have been balanced very well. Akuna kitu ime ime exceed um the other as in the kitu balance. So guys, that's all. Let's meet at the comment section. Please tell me how you find my recipe and uh, yeah so this was let's cook with Ngina segment and thanks for your time thanks for your uh, effort thanks for your sacrifice thanks for your love and everything ciao in our next episode please take care take care of yourself and uh, keep safe covid19 is real bye bye bye